it's Linda again and I've got another uh, little traveler's uh, soft cover traveler's notebook to share with you today and her name is uh, 4CU it's a numeric 4CU Y-O-U uh, the, the collection that I've done with the traveler's notebooks uh, the four have uh, all odd names like that so you know I get tired of uh, worn out of trying to keep coming up with my southern names so these are totally different for me they're a different feel they're a different size for me and I just wanted to have a different name that sort of fit all of this that I'm doing on the covers and so this is 4CU and she's got 76 pages and one envelope. She's fabri fabric covered inside and out. She has a seam binding tie here. And she has a lot of stitching on the uh, collage here. She's been stitched all the way around on the machine, uh, double stitched. And, but all of this is my attempt at hand stitching for a design. I've sewn on the wood buttons. These are uh, genuinely genuine old wood buttons. And then uh, this is the uh, brass embellishments of the two arrows. All of this is canvas. The colors are all canvas. This is a heavy cardstock. And then you have this beautiful white lace here, the scalloped, which I thought was just perfect for that. Uh, the cover was a green uh, card stock that has fabric inside and out. And then this is also uh, card stock underneath here. Uh, this is a heavy canvas uh, fabric that is covering the spine uh, and I had I took all of this fringing you know that takes a long time to do all of this fringing guys and then you have this pattern uh, cardstock here on the cover and then so let's open her up but I love all of this lace and the layers and the colors and the hand stitching. Uh, this is black embroidery thread. So let's open her up and we have this real cute envelope here. And you have one of my, I think, hand painted, yeah, hand painted cardstock stationary type paper. This is just here for decorations. Am I in screen? Nope. There. Let me start all over. You have one of my hand painted cardstock here. And then uh, you can also, I left this open here that you can store, uh, uh, make this a pocket underneath the envelope. And then over here you have a double pocket. You have a little one that has been uh, dressed, uh, dressed up with this green mint green uh, canvas fabric and then you have a larger pocket here that has another pocket in it uh, that's been sewn uh, and then you have a card in that uh, a postcard in that and so this goes in and then this goes in so you got a pocket within a pocket so it's really a three pocket thing, I guess. This has more of the botanical look to it. Line paper. This is the uh, stationary linen paper. Notebook paper. Again, it's just a collection of different uh, paper uh, that I have in my stash. I love combining all these uh, design. This is coffee stain, coffee stain. All of the different designers' papers. Mm. 
This is tracing paper that has been caulker stained. This is an envelope. Has a note card in it, and then a another one here. A little of the uh, canvas fabric, and then you have another. Let me take that out where you can see. This is this is where this one came from. You can see it whenever you put it in there like that. A big envelope with a pocket and a little bit more of that canvas fabric. This is a really heavy cardstock. That'd be great to either put photos on or to decoupage, you know, glue your stuff on here. And then you can just slip it back in there. This is a very heavy uh, cardstock, also the envelope. And then you got another lilac cardstock. And then this has just been uh, glued on to give it some color back here in the back. The other side of that envelope, which was put together. tried to keep these as simple as possible. Uh, I mean, they're not bare. Don't get me wrong. They're not bare. They have beautiful papers, all kinds of papers throughout, like I always like to use. They have a lot of pockets, a lot of ephemera, you know, for you to, to play with. So, I mean, uh, what I mean by simple is the laces and the uh, beads and things like that. And then, then here is the back side uh, that you could decoupage on that if you wanted to. And so this is 4CU. And like I said, she is just gorgeous. I, I like the style. I like uh, all the hand stitching owner and then I like uh, the canvas all of the canvas work that she has here she's really pretty really different you know it's handmade it'd make a great gift for somebody any of these would and so I wanted to thank you for taking your time and stopping and sharing with me today uh, I've got uh, a couple more that goes in with this collection uh, of the Traveler's Journals. And so I will do those and then they'll be put up on uh, YouTube and Etsy separate. But thank you for all your sweet comments. Thank you for subscribing. And I really appreciate them all. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.